It's time for Yogi's Tech Tip. Mm. All right, I'm going to move on to the next thing that we need to do, and that is cleaning the piston heads, specifically the, the crown. So I want to clean the crowns, but before I do, I have to make sure that I identify these pistons so I put them back in the proper cylinder order when I'm done. So I have a tool. It is a spring-loaded punch, and it should give us the oomph we need to mark somewhere where it won't harm the piston. And I'm thinking this little flat spot here is a perfect place to put a punch dot on it. So this one is piston one. So I'll go ahead and do that and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have piston one here. And again, I want to just mark it right in the middle uh, with a punch. So this spring-loaded punch makes it really easy. One little tap, and take a look at the result here. Uh, my magnet feet. Take a look at the result here. Nice, perfect dot. So I'll be able to identify that and make to make sure that I don't uh, mix them up. So let's move on to the other ones. This is a three. And there you go. I almost want to put my name on it or something. So if somebody ever cracks this thing open, they're going to see it. I've got the pistons out. I've drained the remainder of the oil out of the insides of the pistons. I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to get these piston rings off. And we're going to start the soaking process of getting, um, using the uh, chem dip so that we can get the carbon buildup off the, uh, the top part of the piston. Uh, the whole crown here, if you will. All this needs to be clean. I'll need to go in there and clean out the, the grooves as well inside of each one of these piston rings, specifically the oil ring. Uh, I believe it's pretty, pretty, pretty gnarly in there, but I'm not reusing these piston rings. They are getting new ones. Okay, so I've got the cam dip ready and I'm going to start pouring it in nice and slow. So I've got it where I want it. I've got the water or the liquid line right below the um, circlips where the the rod connects to it, but the o the oil ring is soaked in there. So I'm gonna let this go for I think I'm gonna let it go for two hours. Come back and uh, start scraping off the carbon uh, inside of the oil rings where the oil rings sit, as well as the top of the crown. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours. I let it soak a little bit longer. I'm ready to pull these out and take a look at what this chem clean did to the carbon buildup as well as what it did to the carbon buildup inside of the, where the uh, piston rings go. So let's take a look. All right, so here we are on um, this, let's see what cylinder, let's see what cylinder this is. This is cylinder two. And again, this is why, um, I, I uh, used a, a spring-loaded punch to permanently mark the piston head so uh, I don't get confused. But anyway, take a look at the how easily the carbon is just coming off of this piston. So I have, um, I have a little stainless steel brush here. And I'm just going to apply some pressure. Try not to get this stuff in my mouth while I'm talking. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much melting away. And if I do a little, let me just put it in there and rinse it off. And let's take a look. Wow. So, a dirty piston. This is a clean piston. Let's take a look at the differences here. 
Obviously, this one's already soaked, but it's still a pretty big difference in uh, cleanliness. So, not only do I have to clean the top of the crown of the piston, but I have to get inside of these rings. Now, I'm going to try a depth gauge <clears throat> to see what I can do, but I believe another trick is going to be using a zip tie. Yeah, so, I mean, this works really good. I can feel it scraping the carbon off of the metal. But uh, I believe that I can get even better results by using a simple zip tie. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a little pointy angle on it. Yeah, so much better. And see it's coming, the carbon is just melting right off. See that? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up all four of these pistons and clean them up, and I'll show you what they look like after I'm finished. Okay, so I have finished the first pass, and I'm about, <clears throat> I would say, about 95% satisfied with the results. I don't know if you can see the little black sp spots in there. So I'm going to give this guy a one more soak just on the rings to see if I can soften up the carbon even more on some of these hard to reach spots. Um, I mean, I could continue to scrape at it, but I think a, a little bit more of a soaking can get some of the rest of that built up carbon out of there. Cause I want these, you know, near perfect when it comes to the pistons, because, you know, obviously this is where oil consumption comes from. I don't want to add any more problems to Olaf already. So, <clears throat> I want to try to make him as um, bulletproof as possible. So I, I have to dot my I's and cross my T's on this. Check out the condition of these pistons. The connecting rods. That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap. Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp, make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic. Yeah.